Imagine you walk into the supermarket, you cross a road and suddenly your feet feel like they're stuck to the ground. You can't move and the cars already have a green light to continue their journey. This phenomenon is called freezing of gait and it is one of the most common and disabling symptoms in Parkinson's disease, which is a disease affecting the brain. About every second person of estimated 7 million people with Parkinson's disease worldwide are affected. People explain the feeling during a freezing episode like the feet are glued to the floor and they are unable to walk. Often steps are getting shorter and quicker right before the freezing episode, which can cause falls, leading to injuries and hospitalizations. Freezing can be caused when trying to start walking, while turning, when walking through doorways, during dual tasking or just walking in open spaces. Unfortunately, to date it is unknown which mechanisms in the brain cause these freezing episodes. Hello, my name is Saskia Wächter and I'm currently doing my Masters in Bioengineering with a specialization in Neuroengineering at Trinity College Dublin. Within my project, I am investigating brain activity during freezing episodes in Parkinson patients in collaboration with the Mater University Hospital Dublin. This is an example of freezing of gait with shortening step lengths before the freezing episode. Dr. Conor Fearon, neurologist at the Mater University Hospital Dublin, will highlight the importance of researching freezing of gait. Reasons. First of all, it's distressing to the patient, and um, so they go from being able to walk smoothly, even though albeit slowly, to suddenly not being able to move their feet at all. Um, and this leads to falls and hospital admissions, and as a result, a huge cost, not just to the patient but also to the healthcare system. And um, it is also very distressing for the patients too. The second reason that it's important is that we, as a community, don't really understand why it occurs. It is um, difficult to tease out exactly what part of the brain is being affected during freezing of gait, and as a result of that, we don't really have effective ways of treating it. In our experiment, we asked Parkinson's disease patients from the Mater Hospital in Dublin, with and without freezing of gait, to participate. In the experiment, subjects are navigating through a virtual reality corridor by stepping on a Wii board. The corridor contains sliding doors and narrow passageways, which are likely to induce freezing. Meanwhile, we measure brain activity in form of EEG and also gait data while subjects are stepping in place. Furthermore, we investigate the role of cognitive load by adding a second task while stepping in place. The second task consists of a target stimulus which has to be detected by means of a button press on a Wii remote control. In the analysis of the acquired data, we then compare the results between freezers and non-freezers to find differences which might indicate the cause where some patients freeze and others don't. We are optimistic that our experiments can enhance currently limited knowledge on the mechanisms causing freezing of gait with our research. Based on these findings, we hope that a cure to prevent or at least ameliorate freezing of gait can be developed. <laughs>